Okay, you guys, so it is another day and we are taking the sea -Doo boat out to hopefully <laughs> go have some fun. So if you guys watched the last video, we tried to go out, take this thing out and uh, failed miserably. It uh, didn't want to work. So we're back in order now. I did just spend a couple minutes adjusting the actual bedding on the trailer because it wasn't, uh, it wasn't holding the keel off the trailer properly. So I brought them in a little bit. And uh, you guys didn't miss too much, but let's get to the water and let's go for a rip. Okay, here we go. We're gonna launch. Hopefully everything goes well. <laughs> and I'll uh, see you guys out there in a second. All right, well, that's about as far as we made it last time. So <laughs> anything better than this, we're doing good. All right, boys. So we got her running. We're out here idling. So, so far so good. I don't wanna go too, too far just yet, but probably just kind of rip around a little bit. And then uh, we'll get gradually more brave and start ripping out a little more. So all of our lights are off. The tack works. It's kind of a little bit jumpy. Uh, Speedo, still haven't figured it out, but importantly, obviously the fuel gauge does work. So tested that one out. So let's uh, go for a little bit. Okay guys, so, so far so good. The only weird thing is, uh, I'm just ripping it and testing it out today by myself, but uh, like this boat is so small that just me sitting over here on the one side, like the boat sits. <laughs> it sits like this. So it's kind of strange because like, um, it's such a small boat, it doesn't have like any stability. So it was like riding like this. And then if I'm sitting on this side, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the boat like sits like this in the water. So kind of interesting, but, and uh, I don't know. She doesn't, she really gets manipulated by the waves. This thing is just like a little, uh, like a stone on the water. It just skips and doesn't really cut through or anything. So, but I'm going to keep ripping it and I'll let you guys know how it goes. So this is Egmont Key, you guys, where all the boats come out park, I guess. Oh, this thing is funny though. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's so light in the water. It just bounces and gets thrown all over the place. Check out the sailboat that's all washed up. Still Egmont Key or Edmont Key. Probably messing it up again. I didn't even look at the spelling of it, but I'm gonna try and go around it. It's really hard to try to film and rip at the same time. <laughs> Tell you guys, this thing's a handful. You can't just like full throttle send it or anything like that. Like. You gotta like manipulate the throttle like based on the waves you see because otherwise this thing will like pop and it'll skip right off it. And uh, when you're sitting in this thing and it lands and it G's out, it feels like you're getting like two inches shorter sometimes. And I'm only like half throttle right now. So I don't know how this is gonna look afterwards, but pretty bouncy. boys check this out I don't know where I'm going I'm just ripping around aimlessly but she's working good she's uh, I'm getting the hang of it once you like drive it for a bit you can kind of figure out different speeds and stuff to go so that uh, you don't have to worry about so much chalk but um, yeah just getting used to it I was gonna beach it and just kind of relax but I'm having too much fun driving it
So it's done this to me twice now, uh, where it kind of is like cutting in and out, and like then it just turns off, but you can start it again, at least I hope. <laughs> but watch, I'll see if I can get to do it again. So I'll put it in forward. See how it just bleh. That's something I gotta figure out. It's done to me twice today. Um, hasn't really become an issue. Luckily the truck's just over there, but I gotta figure that one out, which I haven't figured out just yet. It's always something, right boys? Always something. It's only like certain RPMs, it seems like. But uh, even, oh, there it goes again. Kinda weird. So, it's one thing I gotta figure out, but let me get back. If you can find an RPM where it's happy, like here, it's okay. But you see how I jump above? Like that. Load it up and we'll get back. Pretty cool here. They have like a little washing station so you can wash your boat, use a hose, flush it out. I don't feel like waiting in that lineup, so I'm just gonna do it once I get back. So easier to do it back. So we're on our way back, boys. Okay, so we're back, guys. Um, I'm just gonna clean everything up. I'm gonna rinse everything down and also rinse water through the system. So if you guys haven't done this, where you take it to salt water. Um, in here, there is a fitting and you hook it up. You let it run for, you know, 30 seconds to a minute or so just to get all the salt water out of the cooling system. The other stuff too is this stuff, salt away. So you can see here, removes salt. So I'm gonna go ahead, spray the boat down with this. Probably just spray it with water first. Then we'll do a batch of this. And then also run this through. This is actually designed to run through different, uh, you can see here runs through boat engines and all that stuff for flush so pretty cool little product i'll link that down below if you guys are interested in that but that's a little routine maintenance and then i also have spark plugs on the way i have like a tune-up kit that uh, i already ordered i just it didn't show up in time so it's got spark plugs um engine oil filter and then i can do an oil change on it as well so i'll do that next week um also go over some stuff see if maybe the spark plugs you know look bad or whatnot i was going to change them anyways but Hopefully it's just something simple like that, but I'll keep you guys posted on everything else. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video.